It did not start with Donald Trump. He is a symptom, not the cause. He's just capitalizing on resentments that politicians have been fanning for years. A fear and anger that's rooted in our past, but it's also born out of the enormous upheavals that have taken place in your brief lifetimes. Democrats have been saying they need him. The left has been saying they need to hear from him. And so today they did. Within the 60-day window until the midterm elections, today the last president reappeared and came out swinging in his attack of the current president and what we call the new normal. It happened during an hour-long speech at the University of Illinois. I complained plenty about Fox News. <laughs> but you never heard me threaten to shut them down or call them enemies of the people. It shouldn't be Democratic or Republican to say we don't target certain groups of people based on what they look like or how they pray. We are Americans. We're supposed to stand up to bullies, not follow them. We're, we're, we're supposed to stand up to discrimination. And we're sure as heck supposed to stand up clearly and unequivocally to Nazi sympathizers. How hard can that be, saying that Nazis are bad? President Obama also offered stinging criticism of what's become of the Republican Party. They're undermining our alliances, cozying up to Russia. What happened to the Republican Party? Its central organizing principle in foreign policy was the fight against communism, and now they're cozying up to the former head of the KGB. actively blocking legislation that, that would defend our elections from Russian attack. What happened? On cue, President Trump responded to Obama's speech today during his own remarks in Fargo. I'm sorry I watched it, but I fell asleep. <laughs> I found he's very good, very good for sleeping. With us tonight to talk about all of it, Lanhi Chen, a senior advisor to the National Republican Senatorial Committee, also happens to be research fellow at the Hoover Institute and former presidential campaign advisor to both Marco Rubio and Mitt Romney, among others, and Jonathan Allen, veteran journalist and author, currently our own NBC News national political reporter. Jonathan, you get to go first, um, only because I, I want to ask you, based on your experience, he went after Trump by name. Were you surprised? I was a little surprised. Uh, usually, former presidents aren't willing to give up the halo effect of being out of office to essentially risk their popularity, uh, the memory of their presidency, by getting back into fights with, uh, with the current president. Um, it's deeply unusual, but we live in unusual times. And as you mentioned before, President Obama has been getting a lot of pressure from his left to engage in this fight. I think it's important to remember uh, that Donald Trump won the presidency by beating Hillary Clinton in a lot of counties in swing states uh, that Barack Obama had won. He has better standing in a lot of those places than any other Democrat right now. Uh, so there's a lot of pressure on him to speak up. And I think uh, some of the things he said, look, as he put it, it shouldn't be that hard to say Nazis are bad. I'll even take that, uh, you know, that really brave step and say Nazis are bad. Uh, I hope I don't get any uh, blowback for people criticizing me for making an opinion there. But I, I do think we live in sort of deeply unusual times. And uh, obviously he felt uh, he wanted to stand up and say something, and now you're going to see him on the campaign trail. And it'll be interesting to see two presidents at the same time on the campaign trail, because uh, we haven't seen that, at least in terms of the most recent president uh, campaigning uh, during while the, while the current one is. Lonnie, we should say something here, and that is when 44 got elected, 43 did the usual classy president thing and said, I'm going to keep my silence and hang back and enjoy retirement. I'm quite certain that 44, in criticizing 45, it was not an easy decision for him. 
What else did you find notable today? Well, it could not have been an easy decision because it was clearly uh, not something. It was a break with tradition. I thought the other thing that was interesting was how aggressively President Obama tied what President Trump has done to the Republican Party. And this is really an effort to aim squarely at some of these voters that are moderate Republicans or maybe convincible independents. The theory being that those individuals are the ones that are gonna, who are going to swing this election in November. Now, the challenge with that theory, of course, is that midterm election uh, electorates traditionally have been base electorates. It's about getting out the Republican base or the Democratic base. Mm -hmm. uh, and this appeal really is something that I think will energize Democrats, yes, but also Republicans. Again, though, the idea is they can get enough independent support. Maybe they can win in some of these marginal districts. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.